said I'ma crush it. Call me the golden boy. Welcome to Unsung, the non-profit news magazine show. I'm your host, Anthony Walker. Now here at Unsung, we like to take you to different parts of the Pittsburgh area and show you some different shots. To my left is the point where they're setting up for the regatta. To my right, Heinz Field, where they're setting up for the concert this evening. That's right, people. It's July in Pittsburgh. This episode, Unsung is proud to honor Joyce Rothermel upon her retirement after 30 dedicated and wonderful years with the Greater Pittsburgh Area Food Bank in our community. Melissa Carey has the story, but first, let's take a look at some of the stories from our area nonprofits. Operation Troop Appreciation has teamed up with local Walgreens stores for Treats for Troops. The program allows you to purchase specifically requested items and Walgreens will deliver them to OTA. 29 Western Pennsylvania Walgreens stores are participating. For a list of location and items, please visit operationtroopappreciation.org. Are you stuck with your job search? Many of us are, and the Mon Valley Initiative may be able to help you. They offer orientation sessions throughout the year, with the next one scheduled for July 20th at their Homestead office. Sessions help you develop resume and interview skills, find job leads, discover training, and educational opportunities. More information is available at monvalleyinitiative.com. Greater Pittsburgh Community Food Bank has appointed D. Germain Husser as its next CEO effective August 1st, 2011. Husser will come to Pittsburgh from the Low Country Food Bank in Charleston, South Carolina, where he has served as executive director since 2005. Husser succeeds Joyce Rothermel, CEO and co-founder of the food bank. She is retiring after a wonderful 30-year career under her leadership, the food bank grew from distributing less than 1 million pounds of food from a 2,000 square foot warehouse in the Hill District into a nationally recognized leader in food banking. Now, we're going to send it over to Melissa Carey, who had the opportunity to speak with nonprofit community leaders about Joyce. When I asked Joyce Rothermel at the Empty Bowls Dinner if she would sit down and give me an interview to put on Pittsburgh on video, I sat down, I looked into her eyes, and tears formed in my eyes. But looking in her eyes and knowing what she has done for the Pittsburgh community made such an impact on me. And I'm so excited always about this event because it's the most meaningful one that we have all year long. And I felt the need to share that with the community. So I went around and I asked a few other people if they could give me their perspective on Joyce as well. She has always been thinking about those who don't have a voice or don't have a voice loud enough uh, to really get people's attention about their need and so she's just been a tremendous advocate and she's um, she's a true 60s child so I can identify with that. So. It's obvious that she cares very deeply about those who um, are food insecure uh, and she will she's compassionate and committed on the other hand, it's very clear she is hard as steel when it comes to what she will do uh, in order to make sure that people have food. And so it's a wonderful combination of personality traits that make her so effective and have made her so effective. I'd go to events and there'd always be this person there um, quietly participating until it was time to speak and then she'd throw in some really weighty question. Uh, Joyce is ever present in the community as an advocate for her cause and her organization and the people that she serves. Uh, what's amazing to me about, about Joyce is that presence, the power of her presence. Uh, she's as close to ubiquitous as a human being can be um, where it counts for her organization. Joyce has just been diligent about finding the way to get to yes. And so today, the, you know, they serve 11 counties and starting in uh, 1995, mm -hmm. where we gave a very small $27,000 grant um, to actually continue uh, the neighborhood farm stands. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, she took that grant and grew it, and now she has an amazing network of programs. She distributed, what, something like a million pounds of food, and we're looking at almost 24 million pounds. And to do that and to build the infrastructure that supports it uh, is, um, is an amazing feat. Joyce built that food bank up from nothing up to a huge 
organization. Every time I'm over there and every time I see the different things that they're doing and the different parts of the community that they're in talking about the issues, I'm just amazed that she, how much work she's actually accomplished. There's a, um, uh, a sort of um, self-effacing cliche in, um, uh, in progressive politics about how some of us um, uh, love mankind but can't really stand other people. Um, and I think Joyce is the, um, is the proof that that's not true. Joyce is infectious. Um, you know, if you weren't on board with her vision, uh, if you weren't on board with what her agency is trying to do, very quickly into the conversation, you become a fan. Somebody asks in kind of a rhetorical way, well, does anybody object to that? And there'll be this voice in the back of the room and this, this um, relatively short woman will stand up and say, yes, I do. <laughs> and the whole room will freeze and take notice. You know, there are large shoes to fill. When I think of Joyce, I always think of there's a large apron to fill. I suspect that because she's done so much work to create a great organization, though, the organization will successfully make this transition. We say in our mission, our mission is to feed the hungry through a network of wonderful people and through a collaboration to end hunger in our region. That is our vision. And I know all of you share that vision. We have so many great people that had many great things to say about Joyce that we couldn't even fit half of it here. So tune in to pittsburghonvideo.org for the unsung, uncut versions of these interviews. The second annual Ride for Remy is July 10th at the North Park Ice Rink parking lot. This year, rides will include both a 25 and 50 mile course. Each course is on the open road that leads from Allison Park through parts of Butler County. Enjoy the scenery and support the Remy Savoy's Glute One Foundation with mission to create awareness, education, and research of the rare brain disease, Glute One DS. More information is available at Remy's Glute One Foundation.com. The 17th annual Pittsburgh Blues Festival is July 22nd through the 24th, once again at Hartwood Acres. The Pittsburgh Blues Festival is a Greater Pittsburgh Community Food Bank's largest annual event, raising more than $1.2 million to fight hunger over 16 years. Friday, July 22nd, a mission is free with the donation of a bag of non-perishable groceries for the food bank. For tickets, a complete lineup, and more information, visit pghblues.com. The Tree River Circus comes to Allegheny Commons on the north side on July 24th from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. The circus celebrates the environment with local artists, musicians, actors, writers, crafters, and more. The event benefits Pittsburgh Parks. Details at treeriversircus.blogspot.com. The Irma Freeman Center for Imagination at 5006 Penn Avenue will host the Green Arts Boot Camp August 8th through the 12th for ages 5 through 8 and 9 through 13. The program includes yoga, drawing, painting, collage, puppetry, and more. Pricing and registration information is available at irmafreeman.com. Thanks for watching this episode of Unsung. From us here at Unsung, we'd like to thank Joyce and wish her a happy retirement. Check out previous episodes and our Unsung Uncut series on pittsburghonvideo.org. Let us know how you make a difference in our community or what you would like to see on upcoming episodes. I've been your host, Anthony Walker, reminding you to keep it awesome, Pittsburgh, and we'll see you next time. So I said I'ma crush it Call me the golden boy cause it shine whenever I touch it Don't rush it, the flow comes naturally Actually, the whole hood after me Masterpiece, I outran a pace car And these dudes fucking mad cause they can't even find a day job I stay hard with or without Viagra And I said the flow crush like the force of Niagara I'm after a major label budget for since I'm not